Thank you, uh, Michel, for the introduction. So uh, I present that uh, this is a joint work with the uh, Bukla from uh, Polytechnic uh, Constantine University in Algeria. This is the oh, uh, this is the content of uh, my uh, uh, talk. I, I will uh, uh, present uh, uh, an adaptation of uh, the empirical likelihood methods for the context of uh, sensor data. So I, uh, first I begin by uh, presentation of uh, uh, moment condition model, the empirical likelihood model, and uh, we will uh, recall this uh, uh, adaptation uh, given by Wang and Jing uh, to the context of uh, some sort of data. Uh, we will give another point of view at the likelihood, at, at the empirical likelihood, and this uh, point of view will use it to give an alternative uh, adaptation to uh, to the context of uh, some sort that I, I I will end my uh, talk by uh, presenting some uh, uh, simulation results. Let's uh, introduce some uh, notation. Like here, x is a random variable, uh, basically uh, a lifetime uh, uh, a random variable, or a non-negative random variable, and uh, we will donate f x its uh, cumulative distribution function. Uh, so, uh, the moment condition model are all uh, considered are all distribution, which satisfies uh, a number of uh, linear constraints. Here, the function g is uh, no one. It is a a uh, vectorial uh, <coughs> a function, and uh, we assume here that the equation here uh, admits a unique solution in theta, and the solution we do not eat uh, theta true, theta t. This is the parameter of, and, uh, of interest which we intend to estimate, and to constrain the confidence solution for the parameter, or to uh, perform test on the mo uh, both on the model and on the uh, parameter. Uh, here are some examples to illustrate to the uh, interest of this uh, model. If uh, in the uh, above uh, uh, equation we take uh, uh, the function g of this form, so the problem here is uh, simply to uh, make inference on the mean of x. If we take g uh, in this form uh, with uh, a given value p in the interval 0, 1, uh, the parameter of NTS is simply the uh, quantile of order P of the, uh, f the distribution of the random variable X. Here, another example. Uh, sometimes uh, we can have uh, uh, this information. Uh, we know that the second moment uh, may be uh, a known function of the uh, first, uh, first moment. Uh, so, uh, in order to take into account this information, we can uh, d uh, consider this problem in the context of uh, moment condition model, taking uh, G in this form. Here the parameter of interest is the uh, mean of the X, and we want to infer about the mean using uh, this, uh, this information. Another example for be valid data, for example, we have uh, we have this information. We see that the mean of each component are equal, and we want to use this uh, information so we can uh, do this in the context of MCM model, taking G exactly in this form. Another example is uh, the case when the mean of the first component is no one, and we have to estimate or to uh, make inference on the second or the moments of the second component using this information. So we can do this uh, in the context of MCM uh, uh, taking this function. Another example is to, uh, if we know that the distribution of X is symmetric, which means that uh, we have this uh, uh, equality for all uh, X, and we want to uh, estimate the value of the cumulative distribution function for a given vo point X0 using this information, so we can do this also, taking G, uh, uh, defining G in this, in this way. Another example for uh, uh, survival analysis uh, uh, here, uh, if we want to uh, estimate the survival function of X at a given point X0, we have to take G, uh, to define G by this expression, and uh, we can also uh, Estimate the uh, mean residual life of x if we take the function g in this uh, in this way. 
Uh, this model has uh, uh, been widely investigated in the uh, econometric and statistic literature by, by uh, many others. Uh, first, we, we have the uh, general method of moment of Hansen, which have been uh, extended by Hansen and Earl to introduce the continuous updating estimates. And uh, we found also the uh, work by Kitamura and Stuzer, who uh, proposed the exponential tilting estimates and uh, the famous one, the famous uh, method of empirical likelihood uh, introduced by Owen, Kin and Lawless. Uh, this, the, this method, the empirical likelihood, is considered as the, the best one in terms of, uh, of efficiency. And we will uh, see uh, that uh, uh, all uh, the, the three diversion, the, the, the last three methods, uh, we will see that are uh, linked to the uh, divergences and to the inference with the, with the divergences. Let's uh, recall, uh, focus on the um, last one, the empirical likelihood method, just to uh, recall how to, uh, to do inference with this method using estimating function. Because here is the, uh, the distribution of x is uh, non-parametric, we will look to uh, the, the likelihood is the uh, uh, the product of all, uh, we will focus on discrete distribution supported by the data. And uh, we, uh, because we have a restriction on the probability distribution, uh, we consider only uh, those that uh, satisfy all linear constants. It is natural here to uh, restrict this here to the discrete distribution, which uh, satisfy uh, on the empirical version of the, uh, the, the, the theoretical uh, moment equation. So we have uh, uh, to maximize here uh, over all distribution, uh, discrete distributions, versus by the data which uh, satisfy to this uh, linear constraints. So if we take the, if we consider the log likelihood, we have just to uh, maximize a concurrent function on the simplex. Uh, our uh, our linear constraints, so we can use uh, classical dialectic algor arguments, and we can compute the maximum here, and we obtain this quantity where t uh, theta is the solution of this nonlinear convex function, uh, the uh, st uh, syst <coughs> system of equation. The log likelihood ratio, if we uh, uh, intend to uh, do. Uh, to perform a statistical test, the look like the ratio uh, writes in this way, where here we uh, maximize the over all discrete distribution without uh, any constraints. So we obtain the uniform, the, the maximizer here clearly is the uniform distribution on the, on the data. And the look like the ratio uh, writes in this way. And the log empirical likelihood, exactly this uh, formula, it, and the uh, empirical likelihood estimator of theta is the maximizer over the parameter space uh, of the uh, log likelihood ratio. Uh, Kinnard Douglas gives uh, the asymptotic distribution of the, uh, the, uh, the estimates and also the classical log likelihood ratio uh, statistics. This one uh, may be used to uh, test the validity of the model. And these results uh, allow us to uh, construct uh, confidential solution of both the parameters. In the uh, sensor data, the situation is different. Uh, we, uh, we don't observe x. Donc, as instead of observing x, we have a sample z1, delta 1, z1, delta n of independent copies of uh, the, the pair of uh, random variables, which is the here the mean of x and of r where R is uh, the non-negative uh, censoring random variable. Here, delta is the indicator of the censorship. So here, the situation is different. Uh, but, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to obtain uh, the empirical likelihood, uh, this author observed that uh, if uh, uh, the random variable X satisfies to the moment condition model, we have this, uh, this situation, the f the, this uh, new uh, random variable, G, Z, theta, and divided by the survival uh, function of R satisfies to this e equation. And this author uh, obtained the empirical likelihood that uh, empirical likelihood estimates uh, 
doing exactly in, uh, in a similar way to the empirical likelihood in the classical context of complete data. So they maximize our uh, all this cat distribution that satisfies the empirical version of these constraints. But here uh, we observe the fact that uh, here the function g is no one. This, that's the function that defines the linear constraints. But we have also the survival function, which is on resonance parameter. It is not no one, and we have to estimate this. This uh, because we have to estimate if we have. Uh, we have immediately a loss of efficiency, and we think that that it is not the uh, the best way to uh, extend uh, the empirical likelihood to this context of some sort of data. So we will uh, give uh, another point of view of the empirical likelihood in the in the case of complete data uh, via divergences, and we will use this uh, n uh, point of view to give another adaptation of the empirical likelihood to this context of some sort of data. So I uh, uh, must uh, here uh, I, I uh, recall just the definition of the Kaplan Meyer estimator of the cumulative distribution function, and here uh, S and is the the the, the, the Kaplan Meyer estimator of the su survival function. So uh, the uh, Kaplan Meyer estimator of the f of the cumulative distribution function and use of probability distribution. And we uh, can show here that the empirical measures associated to this, uh, uh, to the kaplan meyer estimator of the cumulative distribution function is exactly defined in this case. So we have the weights EC here, uh, which are different from um, 1 divided by n, we but we obtain exactly these weights, which are associated to each observation that uh, I. Here, to uh, give the a new point of view of the empirical likelihood, we uh, have to, uh, I, uh, to to introduce some notations. So I define here this uh, model, uh, which uh, is the collection of all model and theta uh, over the parameter space, where and theta is is the set of all uh, signed Fourier measures, which adds to one and which satisfy the linear constraints. So uh, if x uh, satisfies the moment condition model, this is equivalent to say that the probability distribution of x belongs to the, uh, this collection of, uh, of mu. <coughs> here, here I recall the definition of the, the, the phi divergences. And uh, here are some examples, the class of uh, crystal divergences or power divergences, and uh, which includes all uh, the one known divergences of uh, Kullback, modified Kullback, k square and Hillinger's. Here uh, we have the, using divergences, we can uh, give uh, new estimates of the parameter theta that we have uh, obtained with the uh, joint work with uh, Poniatowski uh, to estimate the divergences for, for a given model and for a given theta between the model and theta and p. We have just here to, uh, in the definition of the divergences, to uh, replace the probability p or the uh, the probability distribution of x by uh, the empirical users in complete data, and uh, uh, then we uh, minimize on the parameter space theta to obtain a consistent estimate of the divergence. So we can have called this uh, kind of estimates the empirical divergences. In the definition, we can see here that the estimates is a solution of uh, optimization co convex uh, for an optimization of a convex function on our set uh, uh, convex uh, uh, constrained by uh, a, a number of uh, linear constraints. So we can uh, use the LUT uh, to obtain uh, to transform this problem on non-constrained one. So I denote here uh, phi star the uh, Legendre Fersen transform of the convex function phi. And if the function phi is differentiable, which is the case of, uh, of all standard divergences, mm -hmm. we uh, can uh, obtain an explicit formula of the, of the, the convex conjugate. 
define now this uh, subset of R L plus one for which uh, the subset of all vector for which this integral is finite. And with this set, we can prove that uh, the divergence between a given model m theta e and the distribution uh, px of x can be written as the supremum over this uh, uh, set, which is uh, of a dimension l plus 1 of this formula, where r here is defined in this way. So uh, using that formula, we, we can uh, obtain uh, uh, obtain the, uh, the plug-in estimate of the divergences, replacing here the uh, probability distribution x by the empirical measures. And uh, we can prove that the above formula that defines the plug-in estimates coincide with the one obtained through the DR formula. So we can see here, if we take uh, the, the, the case of, uh, or the special case of uh, modified the back the liberal divergence or the likelihood divergence, we, we uh, obtain exactly the empirical likelihood one. And uh, if we take the, uh, consider the case of KL divergences, we, we obtain the uh, exponential tiltic estimates. And if we take the, the case of KEDU divergence, we, 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 we include the uh, continuous updating estimates. So to, uh, we have here the asymptotic uh, uh, properties of all uh, estimates and the statistical tests. So now to uh, give another adaptation to the s case of sensor data, we have just in the uh, above definition to replace the empirical measures by the kaplan meier estimates. Yes. We have uh, here the estimates. We have the obtained for this uh, estimate uh, proved consistency and obtained the asymptotic distribution of the estimates and statistical tests. I just uh, here I uh, present some simulation results to illustrate uh, the uh, performance of the obtained estimates and statistical tests. This uh, example uh, we have to uh, here to estimate the mean, and uh, we take. Uh, x from uh, exponential uh, distribution here with the uh, uh, random uh, censorship, uh, censorship random uh, variable from exponential distribution and we present here the uh, coverage prob accuracy Father? Uh, just, just one minute we have here the uh, coverage accuracy compared with the other method uh, here another example and here uh, we compare uh, the estimates in terms of uh, mean square here. The, to conclude, uh, uh, we think that the, um, the use of uh, the new point of view uh, to uh, adapt the empirical likelihood to the sensor data is to consider uh, the likelihood divergence or the modified likelihood divergence and to project or to minimize uh, according to these divergences uh, the distance between the uh, kaplan meier estimators and the, and the model. Okay, thank you. Thank you.